We have a question from uh, Christopher. My goal is to be a good Masters Highland Games athlete. I'm currently 35 years old. I figure it gives me five years to get stronger and learn the events. I'm familiar with all the basic kettlebell lifts like presses, gobble squats, swings, snatches, and the Turkish get-ups. In the past, I've competed in uh, kettlebell sport and trained using body weight movements, pull-ups, push-ups, etc. Christopher, everything you just said probably has, I mean, there is some value to it, but to be a Highland Game athlete, I, I think you have to snatch and clean a jerk. I mean, uh, you know, I love kettlebells, and I think there's value. Like for me, there was value as a Highland Gamer at the kettlebells because I came in and I'd already, been, I'd already snatched 314 and cleaned 402. So when I started doing the high rep kettlebell ballistics, <laughs> you know, it was just, it, it, was, it, was a, it was a different vision of things. I was wondering if I needed to learn some barbell lifts in order to develop the strength necessary to be competitive, and if so, which ones? Huh, sorry, already answered the question. I think you should learn to snatch and clean. Uh, I think there's great value. Um, yeah, I mean, it's what Dave Davis said in 1974. You, you got to do the power lifts and the Olympic lifts. I think it's a must. And, of course, farmer walks. And I mean farmer walks. Heavy, grinding farmer walks. Um, w when you're 40, you'll be throwing the 56-pound weight. And I got to tell you, man, the 56-pound weight is... Uh, <laughs> it's... It, it's an eye opener. Uh, I, I, even when I was good, I would still step up <laughs> and have a little, you know, moment of respect for that 56 pound weight, you know, bringing that around. Um, what lifts would you recommend? I focus on to develop the strength necessary to be a competitive Highland games athlete. Uh, well, uh, what I just said, but also too, I don't know why you're not competing now. Uh, if you want to be serious about it, when you turn 40, I mean, you got five, however your birthday works out, five or six years to learn the techniques. And, um, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the guy, Highland guys now are telling me they're, you know, uh, not, the, not the great ones, but the, 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 okay, the regional guys, you know, they take powerlifting extremely serious. And, uh, but the truth is in all this, Christopher, throwers throw. It's, these are throwing events, not lifting events. So until you start throwing, you're really not, you're kind of missing the big point, okay? So throwers throw, and then do the Olympic lifts. Um, I would say three days a week Olympic lifting, four days a week throwing, and that's pretty much the, the target I'd, I'd have you uh, look at. Uh, realistically, most people can't do that, but that's that's what I would recommend. All right, good luck to you. And get a kilt and start throwing. All right, bye-bye.